Hello, Venu this side. In this video, I am explaining how to get data from S3 and how to process S3 data using PySpark indirectly in PyCharm. Usually what happened, most of the cases you are using EMR. In that EMR Spark submit, if you are doing like this, it is, config, it is going to S3 and uh, you are processing that data. But instead of all this headache, can I do it directly in uh, PyCharm or IntelliJ means yes. We can do it. Before going to further, my recommendation first go to file setting. Here there is a plugin available. Go to please go to plugin. Here please search AWS plugin. One minute. Sorry. 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 Small mistake. Right here go to plugin. Click this plugin. Okay. Here I want to search. Okay. AWS. AWS Toolkit. Okay, please click this AWS Toolkit. Why AWS Toolkit? It is used to connect all AWS resources. Left hand side, please check. As of now, there is no any AWS related meaning. Bookmarks available, structure available, project available, but there is no any AWS related service. Now, please click this restart. Okay, now this is S3. I have this S3 data and this S3 data, uh, um, uh, this is a bucket, in that bucket, something folder. In that folder, I have two data sets. I want to process these data sets using Spark. That is my requirement. Now, if you open this file chart, what happened? Left hand side, earlier you don't have this AWS Explorer. Now you got it. Why just now you install something plugin? Click that plugin. If you are doing first time, okay, where is your uh, region? I think you are from, if you are India, choose Mumbai region. Okay, now here there is no your credentials. That's why please click here or click here. Anything it's fine. This is first step. What is this meaning? I want to create AWS IAM keys. IAM keys. Here I want to use, here I want to use. That's why first step. I think you have AWS account. Please go to your AWS IAM. Go to this. I mean, this is an IAM only king to allocate all these resources. Okay. Uh, now go to this IAM and uh, create one manages group. In that manage any group is fine. Okay. Here RDS full privileges you have. If I want to explain depth information about this IAM, maybe it will take little time. Okay. Or please follow my previous video. Okay. Uh, somewhere I explained, I think. Okay, now yes, three full. Yes, three full. So I am granting full permissions. So now I can access RDS S3 full privileges. Who is in this managers group? So now I, I am any users available. If not, create your own user. For example, uh, 57 days back created all these things. So I'm creating one more user. Okay, that example. You know, okay, now access, etc., etc., and this is not required to be found with this custom password. Okay, that's it, and uh, okay. Next permissions. Okay, next I am in manager. If I am in manager, automatically I will get S3 full privileges. Just now I added. So. Now, 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 create user. Now, these keys very, 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 very important. Download these keys or else all of these keys available. These keys also available in this download folder. First step, copy this folder. This is called AWS Access Key ID. So here, AWS Access Key ID. Here, just replace this. Okay, that's it. Next, here. Secret access key. Okay. Where is that here? I have show. Click that. Copy that. Paste that. That's it. Okay. Save that. Okay. Above there is a save button available. That's also fine. Just to save that. If you save, what happened? Okay, here you got a default profile. Then what happened? This is your S3 only. 
Now everything I can access. Let example go to S3. Now go to this Mali. Otherwise, refresh. If you click, go to input. In that input data, I have these two. Of course, in this in this S3 also I have seen. It is in that S3 input I have these two. Why you granted full privileges? That's why. Okay. So you are able to read everything from AWS. Why with the help of this a small plugin and with the help of this IAM keys. Okay. Next, I want to read data from S3 and I want to process this data. Usually, if you are using EMR, what happened? EMR that is by default available, by default automatically communicating with S3. But here, what happened? This is not by default communicated. This is third party tool. At the time, you must have you must add different different type of dependencies. Without dependencies, I think it's not possible to connect. That's why first step: all these dependencies where it is available, go to MVN repository. Maven repository here: PW AWS S3. Now here. Simply AWS S3, AWS S3. If you search, mainly three important files you will get. First one, go to this. Uh, I, any version is fine. Usually, version is not creating any problem. Maybe, but only problem here 183. All versions you must choose only 183. Means click this, download the job. Okay. Here you have jobs. Click that. Download. Next, what happened? Go back here. Go back. This is S3. Next, this is this one. Both highly recommend. So click that. Here also same version. Must choose same version. If you choose any other version, you get errors. Similarly, go back. This this is also same version. Download this. Next, this top four. I will share these four links in this WhatsApp group. In this, uh, I mean, YouTube description. Just download these four jars. Okay. Next, next, where is these four jars available? These four jars. First, copy and place in Spark folder. By default, your Spark located in uh, download wood folders. Uh, why this four jar is taking a lot of time? Refresh. Uh, okay, four jar ready. Now in this four jars, Control X, either Control X, Control C, anything is fine. Now where is Hadoop install? By default, Hadoop install is big data folder. Okay, if you don't know how to please follow my previous videos how to install all these things now here there is a jar server in that jar, just place this four jars that is first step next i want to get data from oracle at that time i am giving a sample code okay just uh, the this code also available in this youtube description just copy that okay and paste here means this is what happened. Oh, sorry, what happened? This is I access key, secret access key. What is this meaning? Just now you got it. This keys to two keys. If you don't know that, go to config. Here you have that keys. Please copy that. Play that. Similarly, what is this secret access key? Maybe this one. Okay, next, this is nothing but you are this is this code. What it does, it is giving a hint to the Spark by default. Spark pointing to HDFS. Okay, don't go into HDFS, please go to S3 like that. It is giving instructions to Spark and Hadoop. Okay, that's why these four lines is common. Next, these keys you are giving full privileges to the S3. Next. It is end point. End point means where are you from? Default region it is. In case if you are using India, choose this one. Region URL. If you don't know this, 
go to your uh, ajm here you have just a minute go to this here he is using north virginia so north virginia means okay copy that just a minute I want to check yes the where it is located okay hey okay that's not a problem s3 located by default s3 where it is located this is please check this region ap south one ap south one means mumbai only so i think you same you are s3 same you are next what happened i want to read data from s3 then what happened this is you have you know left hand side left hand side here go to mali in that mali you have this i want to read this s3 data then copy copy url copy s3 anything is fine copy s3 uri or copy this one this one anything is fine copy that and replace that hmm? okay replace that that's it now i think uh, all this syntax you know that how to read s3 data all these things okay just read the data and display that okay if you have full privileges then what happen you will get okay don't worry starting time there is a, a small warnings what is this meaning hadoop windows is not hadoop not in all this that is not a creating problem don't worry about that now this is so dip commonly you will get errors that's common first of all what is this py this one means maybe class not found exception what is this meaning hadoop fs s3 means one more important dependencies by default where it is available here also in, uh, very very important okay go to you you already installed hadoop you know go to hadoop in that hadoop share you have in that share something hadoop hadoop tools i think hadoop tools is there any how do aws on this one in this path how do aws you must use same uh, thing otherwise you will get error okay so copy that this one only how do aws of course if you google it in the mbn repository that is also available that's not a problem copy this place in that spark folder that is a small uh, connector between hadoop and spark so copy that that is also please paste in this jar okay uh, maybe sometime you will get a common error also okay this is that meaning class not found get error anywhere if you get this means that is 90 percent is something dependency issue that is that meaning okay next the starting warning please ignore that's not creating any problem second one still if you are getting sometime you will get common hadoop common error i think if you are not getting that's okay if you get at the time you must add one more dependency also okay just a minute are you able to receive or not yes congrats you are able to receive. sometime still if you are unable to receive means my recommendation go to this uh, go back mm, not here hadoop sometime you will get a hadoop class if you are using old version maybe hadoop 2.7 at the time uh maybe hadoop here there is a common go to this common copy this uh, three jars especially these are enough 90 percentage copy this jar place in the spark folder at that time that is also working fine so now what happened this data you are able to read this data from s3 this this data already available in s3 so you are able to read okay easy you know but one more important thing if you if you without, without proper experience don't use uh, like this why aws yes uh, what happened s3 5gb free okay that's 100 percent correct problem is problem is it is only okay wait aws free time now go to this is aws here please note what is the limitation Twenty thousand foot 
2000 put and 20000 get request only free that means get means you are reading data from yes 325000 20000 times you can read 2000 times you can push push this data in s3 that is also you can do it but the problem is if you in, if you cross this limitation most frequently right click run right click run what happened automatically this io hits increased so at the time automatically this put get and request is increased at the time if it is crossing these 2000 limitation 20000 limitation 100 percent you get bill please be careful okay so in that way you can easily read this data you can easily process this data like this okay so i'm sharing this code this code also available in this youtube description and if you have if you have any doubts please comment below i will uh, try my level best here only thing change this ip number add this dependency that's it okay if you have any doubts please comment below i will try my level best to answer okay thank you thank you much